Good day, Lena. Yeah, welcome back to our mathematics class. If you could recall, in our last class, we started approximation. Specifically, we dealt with digits, place values, and rounding up of numbers to either thousand, millions, hundred, or any given value, place value. Today, we are going to be dealing with decimal places and significant figures. If you are a new member on this channel, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. So, let's dive in. Decimal places mean the number of digits after a decimal point. There's, when we have these values, 72.307 the first part of this decimal point this first part of this decimal point is referred to as all numbers all numbers what are all numbers these are numbers without decimal points why the digits after this decimal point they are referred to as decimal fraction, decimal fractions. Fine. If we know this, we have the whole number parts and we have the decimal fraction parts. Now, three here is the first decimal point. Why? Zero is the second decimal places and seven is the third decimal places. Now that is how we are going to be determining our decimal places. First decimal place, second, third. So what we have the, the, the following ones, we are going to have the fourth, fifth, sixth, and so on. Now, we shouldn't forget in our previous class what we discussed about rounding off of numbers. Number between 1 and including 4, 1 to 4, you round down to 0, while from 5 to 9, you round up to 1. That particular simple rule still holds in dealing with decimal places. Let's look at example. Example 1. Round off 567.5684 to a one decimal place. The first one we have. 567.5684. Question A to one decimal place. Now, when you look at this, the first decimal place here is this 5. 5 is the first decimal place. Now, look at the right. At the right, we have digit 6. This digit 6 that we have is between 5 to 9. You round up to 1. Add the 1 to this 5, making 6. So we are going to have 5, 6, 7, point 6. This is to 1 decimal place. Now let's consider this to 2 decimal places. The first decimal place here is this 5. Second decimal place is 6. So this is the second decimal place. So when you look at the right here, we have 8. 8 is number between 5 to 9. Round up this 8 to 1, add it to this 6, making 7. So we have 567.57. This is the two decimal places. Okay. The third one, three decimal places, we have 567.5684. So three decimal places. So we count the first decimal place, second decimal place, and the third decimal place. One, two, three. So this is three decimal place here. When you look at the right, we have four. Four is number between zero to four. You run down to zero. So we are going to have 567.568, three decimal places. Example two, round of 26.5274 to the nearest tens, hundreds, and thousands, okay? We have the first one, 
26 points, 5, 2, 7, 4. Okay. When we have values this way, the 5 here, as we know, is the first decimal place, second decimal place, the third one, and the fourth one. Why this 5 here is also refers to as the tenths? The place value of it is tenths, followed by hundreds, thousands, millions, and so on like that. Now, the place value of this 5 here is tenths, followed by hundreds, and followed by thousands. Now, I want to now find, I want to round up this to the nearest tenths, okay? The first tenth here is this five, is the tenth. When we now look at the right, we have two. Two is number between zero to four, you write down to zero. So we have 26.5 to the what? Nearest tenth. The nearest tenth, okay? The second one is hundreds. So we have 26.5274. So when this one, is tens, this is hundred. So two is hundred. When we look at the right, we have seven. This seven is a number between five to nine. You round up to one. Add the one to this to making three. So we have 26.53. This is to the nearest hundreds. Now the last one is thousands. Also the same digits given to us. 26.5274. So this is tens, hundreds, and this one is thousands. Check beside that the right answer we have four. Four is a digit which is not up to five. You write down to zero. So here we have 26.527. So this one is to the nearest thousands. To the nearest thousands. So this is how to uh, round off digits, given digits to the nearest given decimal points. Now, let us now move on to significant figures. Significant figures, SF. What are they about significant figures? We are talking about non-zero digits that starts some set of digit numbers. Let's say, for instance, we have the following digits 782.07. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have five digits. The first digit number that is significant is 7. So this 7 is the first significant figure. Why 8 is the second significant figure? Two, that's the third significant figure. Why this zero is the fourth significant figure. And seven is the fifth significant figure. So, which means that the first digit here is a significant figure, which is non-zero. But let's assume we have the values 0 0.000155. Two. When we look at this, according to what I said, the first non-zero is significant. These values here start with zeros. So all these zeros, they are non-significant. So the first significant figure here is this one. So this is the first SF. Y5 is the second significant figure, and 2 is a third significant figures. Now, unlike this digit here, zero in this place is significant because it is in between the figures. Unlike when the zeros are starting. When they start, they are non-significant. But when they are found in between, they are significant or at the back. If I decided to put zero here at the back, that z will be significant and it is the fourth significant Figures. But when it is starting, as in this case, it is non significant. When it's in the middle or at the back, it is significant. Example one give 846 740 to 1SF 
2SF and 3SF. The first one, 8 forces 7 4, 0, to one significant figure. We know the first SF here is 8. After determining the first significant figure here, we consider the digits at the right hand, which is this 4. When you look at this 4, it is not up to 5. Number from 0 to 4, you run down to 0. So this becomes 8, then others become 0, 0, then 0, 0, 0. So this is one significant figure. The second one, 8, 4, 6, 7, 4, 0, to two significant figures. This is the first significant figure, and this is the second significant figure. When you determine the second significant figure, you change your rights. We have 6. This digit is between 5 to 9. You round up to 1. Add this to this for making 5. So we have 8, 5, 8, 5. So others become zeros, 0, 0, 0, 0. So this is two significant figures. Okay, the third one, which is the wrong figure 3, we have 8, 4, 6, 7, 4, 0, to three significant figure. Now this is the first significant figure, second significant figure, third SF. Then when you determine the third significant figure here, you now consider the digit at the right hand, which is this 7. This 7 becomes 1, because it falls between 5 to 9. Add the 1 to this is making 7. So we have 8, 4, 7. Others become 0. 0, 0, 0. This is 3 significant figures. Example 2. Give 25.0457 kilogram correct to the following significant figures. Okay. Now, the figure 1, 25.0457 four five seven kilogram to the first one two significant figures the first significant figure here is two followed by five after determining the two sf check your rights the digit at your right is zero number from zero to four you round up you run down to zero so this becomes 25 kilogram to Two significant figures. Roman figure two, 25.0457 kilograms to three significant figures. So this is first SF, second one, and this is third one. So this third one is zero. If you look at the back, that is the right hand side, we have four. Four is not up to five. Number between zero to four, you run down to zero. So we are going to have 25.0 kilogram to three significant figures. Okay, the third one here, what we got three, we have 25.0457 kilograms. Now, you want to put this one to 4SF, the first significant figure, second SF, third one, and the fourth one. The fourth one here, this is the fourth significant figures. We now check your right. You have five at the right. Number between five to nine, you round up towards one. How do you want to do this for making five? So therefore, we have 25.05. That is four significant figures. Example three. Round 0 0.004996 to the following significant figures. Okay, the first one, from what we got one, 0 0.004996. We want to put this to one significant figure. Don't forget, these zeros are non significant. They are not significant. The first significant figure here is this four. This four. After determining the first one, check the value after it, that is at the right hand side. We have nine. This is nine, will be round up to one. Add one to this for making five. We have 0 0.005. This is one significant figure. Now, the second one, what we got two, 0 0.004996. We want to put it to two significant figures. So the first significant figure here is this four. 
So we have one, two. So this is the second one, this is two, two. Then consider the one at the right, we have nine. This nine becomes one. Add the one to this nine, making ten. You cannot write the whole thing. You are going to add, write zero, carry one. Put the one that you carried here, make it what? Five. So we have zero point zero zero five zero to two significant figures. So this is the first significant figure, and this is the second significant figure. Then the last one is to put it in three significant figures. 0 0.004996 to 3. So we have 1, 2, 3. So this is the third one. Check the right. We have 6. Number from between 5 to 9, you add up to 1. Add the 1 to this 9, making 10. You cannot write the other 10. You write 0, carry 1. Add the 1 to this 9, making 10. You write 0, carry 1. Add the remaining one to this for making five. So we are going to have 0 0.00500 to three significant figures. Fine. So this is how to determine your significant figures and your decimal places. How? If you find values in this class, kindly subscribe to my channel and click the notification bell for my subsequent content. This is an introductory part of the class. In the next class, we are going to move on to the application. In solving real life experience, always try it and check this channel daily. And don't forget to share to other members to benefit. Thank you very much.